Hi, I'm Professor Popovic. Uh, this is uh, Welcome to Popovic Labs, December 2016 edition. Here are some of our current uh, projects in the lab. Hydromuscle, invented in Popovic Labs, is a soft compliant tech treater that is powered by pressurized uh, fluids. The rubber core stores energy when pressurized, while the outer sheeting confines radial expansion and allows actuation in axial direction. More efficient and more biologically realistic in terms of contractile behavior than well-known McKibben muscle, Hydro Muscle is now top contender for best artificial muscle in the world. According to WPI Patent Office, it is also the best compensated invention in WPI history based on received IP license fees. Biological muscles consist of a multi-fiber motor unit structure that consists of many fibers that can be independently recruited. This allows the muscles to fluidly change their stiffness and force torque profile in the most optimal way for a given task. Here we are addressing the same concept with individually controlled hydro muscles playing the part of muscle fibers. This simplified model of the lower leg will help us determine the dynamic capabilities of the system under various performance metrics. This study will also help us design the more advanced legs with a high level of fire fidelity. The project we're working on is a Robodog. Uh, this robotic leg uh, is the first step towards a biologically inspired quadruped uh, for advanced mobility over variable terrain. The final legs will incorporate elastic elements to enhance motion and efficiency of the quadruped. This quadruped will be the first truly successful walking robot created at WPI. I'm working on an experimental platform for the characterization of viscoelastic properties of the hydro muscle. For a range of dynamic conditions which are specified by external load and fluid pressure. This knowledge is utilized for developing advanced optimal control algorithms for assistive devices and robotic systems which are actuated by the hydro muscles. I'm working on a gyroscopic shoulder prosthesis that's going to help whole arm amputees to achieve a healthy normal gait. So in order to achieve a healthy gait, it's important for the moment and the weight of the arm that's usually there to be present during walking. What we've done is create a device that can actually exert both. By putting a weight on the shoulder of an amputee, as well as exerting some moment on their trunk equal to that of the arm during walking, we're able to create a device that can robustly provide assistance to amputees uh, during their gait so that they can walk and run as if they hadn't lost their arm. We are the Accurate Prosthetic Hand MQP. The goal of the project is to create a biomimetic prosthetic hand that can um, really use the mechanical and electric stimulus um, replicate the actual motions of a human hand and restore that ability to uh, um, upper limb amputee. And we'll accomplish this goal using EEG and EMG signal acquisition EEG focusing on thoughts controlling the prosthetic and EMG focusing on using your muscle actuation to for finer control. And through this we'll develop an inexpensive, um, easy to use prosthetic hand for someone in need. Hydrobon, invented in Popovich Labs, allows for column compressive stiffness modulation by varying fluid pressure within rubber core, which affect the mean interparticle distance within outer layer consisting of elastic granular media. One application is lower limbs exoskeleton. Exomusculature is similar concept as exoskeleton, except instead of rigid external structure, it consists primarily of soft tech treaters. Here are the examples of elbow and legs exomusculatures actuated by hydromuscles. They can be used for rehabilitation or as everyday assistive devices. They can be used in pairs to allow robot teleoperation or human-human interaction, for example, between patient and therapist. Prosthetic sockets and brace interfaces are critical for users' comfort. This in-house built dynamic below-knee smart socket measures pressure field at the interface and appropriately adjust network of fluid bladders such that most desired pressure field is preserved even at less than part of second time scales. Current off-the-shelf valves are typically not designed for advanced robotics systems. This led us to effort to build our own faster, more compact, less expensive and more reliable valves. 
Currently, we are testing several novel valves, valve designs that could meet the various needs required by our systems. We are Popovich Labs. We study physics, biomechanics and robotics. Our goal is to answer how living systems function and to synthesize systems that have resembling architecture and functionality to improve life.